Today I'm presenting the 9-foot Concert Grand Piano, the Shiguru Kawai, model SKEX. Stick around, it's going to be real interesting and a lot of fun. Hi, this is Ted with Alamo Piano Galleries. You can find us online at alamopianogalleries.com. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. I want to get a lot of subscribers. We want to outdo our other channels. Actually, the guitar one, because they're ahead of us. I'm looking forward to that. And the other thing is look for us at our website. Go online, shop for pianos. You can find us. We have stores in Michigan, Ohio, St. Louis, Kansas City, and Texas. Look for a store near you. Come on in and play a wonderful piano, wonderful instruments. We've got keyboards, digitals, but today I'm focusing on the SKEX model. And there's a little bit something personal, and that's probably how this story of this piano starts off. And I'd say it's probably the most personalized piano story, even though someone may have built one for Beethoven and Chopin and Liszt love their pianos. I'm pretty sure this is the very first piano that has a first and a last name on it. And this is something that is, in Japanese culture, you're putting everything on the line right there. You put the ultimate perfection job that you did to achieve the ultimate, and you put your first name and your last name. Not just the company name on it and family or sons or whatever, you put your own personal name on it at your own life legacy goes on that instrument. And that's not anything that's done without deep thought, deep work, deep concentration, planning, design, and bringing it to fruition. And that's what the SKEX from Shiguru Kawai is one of the, I think it is the best piano built in the world. There are better, but they cost lots more. This is the most practical, affordable, beautiful instrument, I believe of all time up to this point. That's why it has an EX at the end of it. It's an experimental thing. It's not their final end of a nine foot piano. They discover some new scientific or wood breakthrough tomorrow and they incorporate it into their nine foot piano first. They see how it works. Then they bring it into all of the other lines in the SK. So there's a lot of pianos that fit into this format. The one I'm looking at today is just the largest one, the nine foot, the SKEX. The heart of all music instruments is the sound that they make. At the heart of an SKEX piano is the soundboard. Kigarashi soundboard technique is premium aged. They're aged outdoors, in the cold, in the snow, in the lesser humidity, so that the wood naturally dries out over a minimum of a five year period. Each one of the soundboards are handcrafted, they're hand cut, and they're individually molded by hand with the rims so that there's consistency in every single one of them. The other part of the sound comes from the hammers. And the shikosane hammers are produced by Kawai. And what that shikosane actually means in Japanese? Ultimate voicing. These hammers have no artificial materials, no artificial processes. There's no exorbitant amounts of, of glues or hardeners or anything. There's done by hand over time. And so that they have the ultimate voicing because there's the least amount of only what needs to be in there. The other part that I really, this part I absolutely love because it is the strength and the foundation of the entire piano, and it is the Kansei Kateji Rim. Kansei Kateji Rim actually is a method of putting the small, poor, different types of hardwoods, which they have very small cellular structure, in different grains. So they have the grain patterns are interwoven until they make the entire rim of the piano. And the rim goes around and comes all the way to the edges of the piano. That rim is wider than most normal piano rims and you can also see the multiple layers in that rim. The other thing that they don't really talk about much at Kauai, and I think they need to kind of put on their uh, step up to the podium here and brag a little bit about the interior of the rim. I love the way the interior bird's eye is performed on that wood so that the way it reflects off of off of the the frame and off of the soundboard it's just really a gorgeous looking thing and, and it's and it's done to perfection we have the ultimate 
playing machine because of the Millennial 3 action. This is a carbon fiber based action that Kauai has been developing over a number of decades until they have finally resolved it to the point of perfection with this carbon based system. What it does to the action system is it allows for a hard light material that is consistent through every single one of their pianos. All Kauai pianos have the Millennial 3 Action carbon fiber based system in it, including their upright pianos and including their lower priced pianos. They're so convinced that this is the ultimate action for all pianos using space age technologies, I'm 100% in agreement with them. No matter what the humidity, what the air quality, anything like that, that piano is going to always play and perform the same way. That part, the Millennial 3 Action, I think is inarguably one of the most advantageous things behind all of the Kauai pianos is a consistent playing, practicing, and performing instrument. Over the life of the instrument, that is the one main thing that every player loves besides the sound. The other thing I, I, that I think is particularly important on SKEX is and I use the damper pedals and I, and I, and I use the soft pedals a lot. And on these SK pianos, they have something, they have dual pivot points. And the dampers, instead of just going straight up and down, they actually lift a little out of the ordinary, the back comes up first so that you don't hear as much of the sound. Normally on a piano, if, if you pump the damper pedal, you can hear it go poof, 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 and the strings will start vibrating. On these here, you don't get at anywhere near as loud of a poof sound because they're lifting off and they're dropping back in, not straight down, but quietly the same way that they, they come up. Another thing that Kawhi puts into their Shigeru Kawhi pianos are all spruce beams. In other words, the foundation from where the rim is at and the beams that pull into the center of the piano, kind of like the spokes on a wheel, but it's kind of like the, the spokes or the sprockets of the piano rim are made out of solid spruce. Most piano manufacturers use a different material. However, they use solid spruce at Kawhi because it is the, the most solid foundation they can get on their rim. And they also have the word solid, which is their strategic overlay lap that actually wraps around the pin block and gives it an extra piece of wood that goes around the pin block and really seals the whole concept of the tuning stability on the, on the piano. Shigu Kawai pianos were the first pianos that I learned to tune on. I tuned nothing but SK pianos for the first uh, couple of months that I tuned. And then I went down to the other levels of piano. I went to the GX series and then to the Kawhi series. And after I had learned how to tune pretty much only on Kawhi pianos, I went to start tuning other pianos and found out that there, there's a bit of work and struggle involved, particularly in 50 and 60 year old spinets to tune. However, the SK pianos are the most stable tuning pianos I've ever tuned. Tuning a thing is just like turning a doorknob. It's just, they stay put and the keys, the pins set precisely right where you need them to go. It's a wonderful feeling tuning one of these pianos. They also have something special that, that, that Kawhi does. They have what's called Tamuki bass strings. The Tamuki word actually means hand wound. And if you watch them hand wind uh, these bass strings, it's really kind of fascinating. It's a different kind of a lathe. They attach the wire here and then to the other end and then they make the, the twist in it. And then when it's time to wrap that string with the brass, uh, copper, however many layers they put on it, the string is pulled up to pitch. So they pull it up to where it's tuned. It has the same amount of tinsel strength as it would when it's in a piano. And then it comes off of a roller and they just hand wind the strings. And then sometimes they have to put another layer or two on it. It's kind of fascinating to watch. The fact that it's done by hand means that it is, it's done precision and it's double checked. Their factory has received numerous awards. I believe there's over 50 some odd awards that, that uh, Kauai has received for numerous different reasons. Of note, importance to them, in 1997, they were the first piano manufacturing company in the world to be granted an IS, ISO 14001 number, which means their environmental systems and management systems are in place. They have environmental standards so that they're not violating any kind of world uh, green policy. They are one of the greenest of all uh, piano manufacturers that are out there. And that is their Raiwayu factory. And 
In 1997, they actually uh, received that award and followed in 2005, they received their ISO 9001, making them an international uh, standard organization for, for uh, manufacturing. Their policies and procedures and how they manage and maintain their consistency in production as well as their green stature has allowed them to earn those ISOs, which is something that a lot of companies should really be striving for in this day and age. At this point now, I think what I want to do is go inside and give you a little bit of a demonstration on how the Shigu Kawai piano sounds, how it resonates, and how it plays.
If you're not impressed with the information and the sound of a Shigeru Kawai or the SKEX piano, I, all I have to do is tell you this, go in and play one. And this is just the voice of experience. This isn't any kind of bragging rights. I will tell you this, we've had a number of families in the last year, at least five or six I can speak of, that came in to buy their grand piano their children had been playing on an upright. And they wanted a grand piano. And of course, they were budget-minded like everyone else out there. And they came in and they looked at K Kawai pianos. They looked at the GL line, they looked at the GX line. They rarely considered looking at the SK line because of the cost. And a lot of times people come in and one of my greatest thrills here at the store, all of us, it's a great thrill, is when people come in and they're, they're piano players and they're just thrilled to see all the things that we have. When come in and we put them on the, the SKEX, the nine foot, and they play, that is a day they remember for the rest of their life. So I encourage you, find one of our stores, go in and look and play one of these SK pianos. However, the number of people that come in committed to spend a certain amount of money, I'm not gonna list any dollar amounts, but they'll come in and they'll pay more, a lot more than what they had budgeted after they hear their children and themselves play on an SK piano. They sell themselves. And it is one of the few handcrafted piano manufacturers that you can get a handcrafted piano and find everything that goes into their top of the line model all the way through the entire line of the series of pianos. And it, it's almost like if you want to believe that excellent pianos exist, I'm telling you, they do. They exist in all different sizes. The problem you're going to have if you're like, I want to get a grand piano from a house. Well, not everyone needs a nine foot. Not everyone needs a seven foot or a seven and a half foot or a six foot. Every single one of these things is a dream piano in its own class. And I cannot say enough wonderful things about SKEX, let alone the Shigeru Kawai piano line. Again, I am Ted Barsalu with Alamo Piano Galleries. Encourage you to look for us in Ohio, Michigan, Texas, St. Louis, and Kansas City. Seek out a Shigu Kawai piano and play one. Send me back some feedbacks and comments. I'd love to hear what you have to say and think. And just remember, this is another thing. These pianos are always compared to tier one pianos, which they are a tier one piano, but the cost of other tier one pianos compared to a Shigeru Kawai is really, there's a lot of difference between the two. So I encourage you to, to really look into a fine handcrafted instrument at really, it's an affordable price. It seems expensive because you're comparing it to other things, but when you compare it to the best of the best, ah, this is kind of at the top of the line, I think. Let me know if you disagree. I'd be glad to hear from you. Take care, and we'll look for you next time again. This is Ted Barsalu with Alamo Piano Galleries. Mm -hmm.